you know, I didn't think I would ever make this video ever. Not in a million fucking years. But here I am. I actually can't believe it fucking happened. Holy shit, this video is actually happening. There's a part four to this awful ordeal. Like, it's nearly been a year since the incident. I had no idea that it would still haunt me today, one year later, roughly. So this all started when I was just minding my own business, just listening to music. Uh, I believe it was midnight. And so I get a message from Feminon. And when I saw her her face like pop up in my message box it was like a fucking horror movie right it was like a jump scare that's how much this girl fucking terrifies me right and so when the message popped up on facebook i can see that she's sending me a google drive file at first i thought holy shit am i in a fucking nightmare and then that's when i realized oh shit this isn't a nightmare this is fucking real life so i think to myself oh fuck maybe it's like a glitch or something and i realized okay maybe this isn't a glitch and then I replied to her and I didn't even question what was in that uh, Google Drive file I just freaked out to her and I actually have the messages pulled up uh, right in front of me right now just so I can like remember the story okay so Feminon sends the Google Drive and then I say holy fucking shit I'm not clicking that shit fam what the fuck is going on is this actually happening and then Feminon says, yeah, it's happening, click it. And then I said, I don't know what to tell you, dude. I said I'm fucking sorry, okay? Because, you know, to this day, I still feel guilty for the things that I did to her, even though she said multiple times, even in this little chat of ours recently, she said that I, quote, didn't do anything. Ah, uh, yes, that's my favorite line from Feminon. It gives me a peace of mind. It's telling me that, okay, maybe I'm not so evil after all, even though I, I kinda am. I think she's only saying that so I feel better, but anyway. So obviously, the big question is, what was this Google Drive file that Feminon sent me out of the blue? Because you have to remember, before this conversation, I haven't spoke to Feminon since like last year, since like my last update video. So I kept on telling her, I'm not clicking it. There's no way in the hell I'm fucking clicking it. Even to this day, I still haven't clicked that fucking file. And so I said, I'm not clicking it unless you fucking tell me what's in it. I'm scared, please. And then she tells me it's a photograph. Wait, a photo? I thought to myself, wait a second. And then I said to her, wait, is that photo what I think it is? But then it hit me. Holy fucking shit. It's the bus stop photo, isn't it? Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. It's the fucking bus stop photo from part one. You know, for those of you who still aren't getting it, I'll give you a little refresher. So way back in part one of the Feminon saga, which is called I Have a Crush on a Girl, I talked about how Feminon randomly pulled out her phone and then she took a selfie with us. So in the photo, it's me, busboy, Feminon, and Feminon's friend, which I've dubbed as Yang in my other video. That photo, it's a relic, if I'm being honest. It actually is a nice photo. Now, obviously, I can't show this photo. I mean, not fully. I mean, look, this is literally all I can show. Like, maybe I can get Feminon's permission to post the full photo, and Busboy's permission, and Yang's permission, but, you know, obviously, that's gonna be a hassle, so I'll just show you the censored version only. And I also said to her, hey, quick question, you haven't been watching my videos, have you? And then Feminon said, do you want me to be watching your videos? And I'm like, no! God, no. I talk about Feminon a lot on this channel. Things like, oh, I miss her, and you know, oh, stupid shit like that. You know, things that she probably doesn't want to see. Feminon said, did you block me on Discord? I was trying to find you there, but I couldn't. And I'm like, yeah, like over a year ago or somewhere around there. Maybe it was like a few months ago. I don't really remember, but yeah, I, I did end up blocking Feminon on Discord uh, later on after the incident. My reason for that is because one, I still had feelings for her and two, she has a boyfriend. So, so if I kept her around as a friend, it would have really fucked me up mentally. So I think I made the right decision. So then Feminon said, but it's okay to unblock me now, right? And then I said, on one condition. And then Feminon said, what is it? And then I said, if for some reason you, Weiss, or any of your friends aren't in K-Orbiters or allies of any
any kind happen to encounter me in public, you will not hurt me in any shape or form. You will give me time to make a break for it and flee. We've already bumped into each other in real life once. God forbid it happens again. And then Feminon's like, uh, sure. I mean, no one ever wanted to harm you in the first place. And then I said, good, you got yourself a deal then. And then a little bit after that, the conversation kind of ended. I said goodnight to her and that was the end of that. So who knows, maybe she might message me again. Then I might make another update video on that. But I mean, I don't want to make an update video every time she messages me. Like, I guess I'll only make an update video if like something big happens. So like she'll probably message me or she probably won't. Like maybe she only messaged me just to uh, deliver that little photo of ours and that's it. So anyway, thanks for watching my uh, oh, screw the whole thing.